Hey guys, today we are going to continue where we left off and animate the eyeball and the lights inside the eye shader. So first of all you need to open a new tab and switch to dope sheet. And let's rearrange some of the stuff so it's easier to understand. So this node here this is for the highlight and this is for the eye color. Let's reduce our uh, total frame count to 50 for now. So jump to the frame 20, add a keyframe, move to the first frame. So I'll, I will say 0.12 could do for the first frame. And then I guess for the, uh, the last frame, in our case 40, we can do minus 0.12. Let's now animate the color ramp. This is our peak light. It's, it's when it's the brightest. And so you can add the keyframe here and then move to the first frame. And here you need to just drag, drag it until it's like barely seen or it disappears. So now it appears and in the last frame you just need to copy copy paste the, the first keyframe. Okay, the highlight is finished. Let's do the same for the bright yellow part. Add the keyframe. Drag it until it disappears. Add the keyframe again. And here you just copy it. Okay, so the animation is ready. Let's now animate the pupil. So when it's the brightest, it should should go down. Make it slightly bigger. Something like this perhaps. And then uh, move to the frame 20. Smaller, perhaps like this. Copy for the last frame. And now let's find the, the iris part and the keyframe. And perhaps maybe should go a little bit in. So minus 0.3 perhaps. And you just copy paste the very first keyframe or this set of keyframes. All right. And now let's animate the actual light objects. So it all corresponds with the stuff that's happening inside the shader. I guess we can move this light away for a bit. This will be our main moving light. Add the location keyframe. And move the light object so it just uh, stops affecting the shader. And then add another location keyframe. Do the same here, so it just just appears in the frame one. You can animate the power as well, so it it loops perfectly. So around keyframe forty and the keyframe, and reduce it. Something like this. Do the same. Maybe add a keyframe here. Up 
Alright, I hope it helps and check out my next tutorial where I'll show you how to customize it so it matches your beast character. Thank you for watching and see you next time.